Let's get your colors out because we're going to paint our custom entity in Blockbench. All right, we find ourselves back in Blockbench once more again with our chopper over here. And now we're going to make a texture for it and we're going to texture it inside of Blockbench with the paint tool. So let's just switch to the paint tool. And the first thing you to discover once we try to paint over here, it's going to say this surface does not have a texture. All right, so what we have to do is we have to go to the outliner, press control A to actually to select everything here then go to create texture and we're just going to create a 16 by 16 texture. That's fine. This over here just happens because our eye stocks are actually less than, you know, one by one. It's actually 0.5 by 0.5. And what it says us to do is to go to file project and then change to per face UV. Let's just do that. And then we can see that we actually have per face UVs over here. And we can then also deal with those. So in theory, we should be able to just change the texture. So if we zoom into this texture, right, and we have this, we go into the paint tool, we should be able to add stuff here and it should also add it there. So this shouldn't be an issue actually in the future. So let's just take a look over here. So let's just crank out the opacity, the size over here as well. Let's just get like a red-ish and then let's actually make the opacity a little bit less and then make sure that our eye stocks here are, you know, sort of an interesting, interesting color, right? So I'm just basically starting over here. I usually suggest making the opacity a little bit less Right, and then just playing around with the colors, right, making some different colors over here. It's not going to be too interesting anyway, because those are just a few, uh, you know, a few colors, basically. That's going to be okay. Let's just do something like this, maybe a little bit darker. You know, I mean, that's not the worst thing ever. Let's just do that. And let, we can also always change the UV of this. So what we can do is we can take the eye stock here, make sure that we select everything. If you hold shift, you can basically select all of this, and then you can make it look you know, a little bit different, basically. So we're just going to take all three of those. I'm going to take the upper eye stock as well. We're going to do the same thing. Everything here is selected because of the blue underlines. So we're just going to make this one a little bit bigger as well. But we're going to take the other part of this. I'm going to do the same thing for the right eye stock as well. Let's just select this one. And then the lower one is going to select the other part as well. So we're going to do over here. And then that's going to be very interesting indeed. So now I'm just not happy with this light one and there we go so now we have the eye stocks pretty much you know colored in a cool way so let's zoom out again and now we can actually also paint on the actual creature here so well let's just say for example maybe we want the creature itself to be maybe like a greenish color right maybe like a dark green so if i start painting on this you can see that it starts painting here as well and it starts painting here as well now i like i said i usually suggest making a little bit of a lower opacity because that actually creates a pretty cool effect where you know when you have when you go over a certain thing multiple times, you know, it just gets a little bit darker. And usually that is a really cool effect that you might want to have. It basically doesn't have the same color all around, right? It looks a little bit different. It looks a little bit novel. Uh, what you can also do is go through everything once, right? So you have like a base color and then color everything a different color. And that's going to do a really cool texturing stuff as well. But like I said, it's just a matter of trying stuff out. I can also increase the size. We can even do softness over here. That's going to be, you know, as you can see, then it sort of has a softness to it that also works. And can also create a pretty cool, you know, different things. Maybe we want like a really dark green in the middle and then sort of to the outer layers, it gets a little bit like lighter over here. So I'm just spitballing this pretty much, right? Like I said, you just want to try out a stuff. Okay, that's definitely too dark. That's pretty that's pretty good, right? Maybe something like this. And then we're just going to continue along here. Maybe the let's make the legs green as well. Why not? Right? So that's going to be a greenish creature here. That's going to be okay though. And like I said, the most important thing that you should be is you should be open to experimentation on all of this. Right? Just try it out. Just start with your first mob. And even if it's not going to be cool or if you say, oh, that it looks terrible or whatever, that's fine. Then move on to the next mob and the next mob. And then maybe at some point, some, one of them is going to stick and one of them is going to look really awesome. And you're going to be really happy that you just tried out a bunch of stuff. You didn't shy away from basically doing this. So like I said, this is just a matter of trying multiple things out and then also just i think this is more i mean this is definitely more art than science let's be honest over here that's like i think that that, that everyone could agree with that right it's like pretty much just about okay does this look good well i mean let's just do a few more greens over here let's make the size a little bit bigger yeah three is actually going to be okay a little bit lighter maybe on this side over here sometimes the, the colors that it already has are also green so keep that in mind that you sometimes have to go through that as well 
Let's make the arms green as well over here. That's going to be fine. And if we, you know, color some stuff that we don't want to color or, you know, maybe we can always go ab over it one more time afterwards, right? With our dark streak over here. And then maybe it has like a dark X, something like that maybe. And then we're going to color it in like this. And then a little bit of a darker color. Yeah, that's great. That's good. And then let's do the arms and the hands here as well. If we hit the face, that's going to be totally fine. I'm actually okay with that. Let's make sure that this is also all done. You can see first pass. You can, of course, also go through the paint over here in the texture. But I personally, you know, I really like it to paint inside of the 3D model. That's just, there's something to it that is just like a really cool thing. And maybe we want the this to be a little bit of a different color. Maybe like a more, you know, teal-ish, right? I mean, overall, the thing is already pretty teal-ish, but... Um, you know, I think that it's, it's, you know, more green, but maybe this is, okay, that's a little bit too teal, I think. Um, maybe, maybe like a really dark. Or dark green, something like that, maybe. That could work. Yeah, let's just do something like this. Beautiful. Making sure that we don't miss any textures. And if we do, that's fine as well. You can always add, though, you know, anything later as well. So the inside of the mouth, right, I'm just going to make it green here for a moment. But I actually want to open this up in a bit. Let's just make sure that this is, like, something about this. Let's do something like that, maybe. A little bit lighter at the bottom. Something like that. Okay, I think that that's going to be a good start. Let's then look at the eye stocks. Um, so the eyes themselves, I want white. Now, this is only one pixel over here, which is not enough. What I actually want to do is I want to zoom in once again into the UV map. So this is going to be the eyes. I actually want to move the eyes and I want to make them bigger. So let's just move this around. So first of all, let's make this bigger. Can we make this bigger? Let's see. Move in here. Let's make this. Let's actually move this around. Let's just move this down here. That's going to be fine. Ooh, there you go. And then let's see what happens if I resize this. I'm not, I'm unsure. Everything is going to go get bigger. There you go. That's what I want to see. Let's just place it down right here. And I'm going to do the same thing for these ones. So where are those? They are right here. Making sure once again we select all of them, holding shift, and then clicking on them is going to be enough for this. And then once again, this should be two sizes, I think, bigger. So this, they should now have the same size. That's perfect. And we can go back to painting them, and there we go. Then we can paint them. Apparently, we can also make them, you know, like, transparent-ish. I don't know if this is going to work, but also having eyes that are transparent does, doesn't really make sense. Let's just make them almost full opacity here. White at, as the beginning, and then we can always take a look at that in a bit. So let's just make this, there you go, on all sides, just so that it doesn't look weird. Now let's just go in here as well, just a little bit more. There you go. And then that should pretty much be that. And then what we can do is we can just make a maybe like a red or a pinkish. Yeah, sure. Like, why not? A pinkish color. Right? Just like one, maybe something like this. Looks very weird. And I kind of like it. Maybe something like that. Where it, you know, goes up. And then here it's a little bit weird. But the bottom one is kind of strange. So maybe not put anything at the bottom and then only put like one at the top maybe. So something like that. Yo, that's what yeah, that's what I want to see, right? So it's very strange, but once again, it's pretty cool. It definitely is. You can tell me whatever you want. Oh, this looks terrible, Count Joe. I'm fine with that. Like I have no, I have no issues with uh, with that assessment at all. Uh, what I would have an issue with is though, it definitely is a, a never before seen uh, thing in Minecraft, right? It definitely is a custom entity, and that's pretty much my goal for for the for the tutorials here for this. Right, so let's go back to edit and making sure that both the jaws are just for a moment here basically not visible so I can paint inside of the mouth. And then I can, you know, make this like red in here so that it's like when when it opens its jaw that it looks like absolutely crazy. Right, so maybe we can do something like this. Right, and then maybe we can even make this like crazy dark inside here. So that it like looks as if it, it looks down like a basically its entire mouth and stuff like that. I think that could work. Now, what I actually want to do also, I don't know if I'm gonna, I want to do this. I don't know if I want to, you know, make this, have them look at this as well. 
Well, let's just make this like an incredibly dark one here as well. And we don't really need to texture this because this should never be seen. But just in case, you know, who knows what I'm going to come up with. Already, let's make sure the softness is zero. Opacity, full opacity over here. Just make this a red for the moment. Making sure that we don't hit anything else over here. So just a red and then just like darker and darker as more as we get more in the middle. Actually, let's do the this red right here and then even darker. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. And then even darker over here and then almost like, I mean, not quite black, but almost black here in the very middle. Absolutely perfect. So then we have these ones we can enable again and we can enable the jaw again as well. And what we can also do in the jaw, basically, maybe we can make some, you know, maybe we can make some white-ish teeth, right? Maybe we want to, we want like a yellowish teeth over here, right? So maybe something like this and then just have, you know, maybe not on the outside, only on the inside. So something like this, and then something like this, which are also only, only going to be seen when the actual jaw opens. But I can see that. That's going to be very interesting indeed. You could, have, of course, also add some cubes over here as, you know, different teeth, basically. But I think that that's going to be okay. That's going to be fine. Once again, it's just an example over here. It shouldn't be anything that might be used in a mod, right? I mean, it, it could be, of course. You're free to use it. It's, of course, released under the MIT license. But there you go. That is going to be a texture. And I actually kind of like it. I like the idea of this. Other ways we could improve this, absolutely. But I'm going to be honest, I'm actually really happy with this already. You know, it doesn't look like a, just one solid color, which is often the thing that you sometimes run into. So I'm actually really happy with this. So I'm going to save this. What should happen is it should open the save for the texture itself. So we're just going to save the texture. There you go. And then the Chomper BB model has been saved as well. And that's going to be a really, really interesting texture. And well, I mean, next time we're going to bring this thing to life with custom animations here in Blockbench for this entity, and I hope to see you there. So, yeah. <laughs>